So regarding the pretext used by, mm -hmm. by the Zionist entity, uh, they've always said that um, they're attacking Gaza and they're attacking Palestine, Palestinian people, and the pretext was that uh, self-defense. All the time they're seeing self-defense. But we all know, as you just mentioned, Karim, is that they are targeting civilians. And when you say uh, self-defense, when you say the balance of power, and you say that when you see that the Zionist entity has uh, one of the strongest armies in the world and has the, uh, the latest technologies, cutting mm -hmm. edge, edge uh, technologies, and you, say, you see the other side, which is uh, Gaza and Palestinians uh, fighting using stones, where is the self-defense here? How can you say self-defense? Mm -hmm. Another point is that they are saying self-defense against whom, Karim? Here with me, I have some pictures of, of kids, 16 kids, Karim. They have been killed, they've been murdered, starting with Ala Abdullah. She's a five years old girl. Mm -hmm. And according to her mom, she was just playing in the garden. She was not attacking anybody, and she was not, she doesn't even know why she, ha why she has been murdered with cold blood. We mm -hmm. have 16 kids, Kenny, 16 mm -hmm. kids. In just three days, they've killed and murdered with cold blood 16 kids. We have Jamil Najm, five years old, also Hazim Muhammad, all innocent kids. And they've been killed, and they don't even know what they've been killed. And then they say that this was for self-defense. We make no mistake, Karim, there, was, there is no self-defense. They targeted civilians, and uh, international uh, community should respond just as they responded to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. We mm -hmm. need the response of the international community.